Hey guys, this is Dr. Tasha Rogers and I'm back again talking about cervical infections. Now, one thing to understand is when we talk about cervical infections, yes, they're sexually associated, but it's not necessarily a sexually transmitted disease. Doctors will say, oh, you have urea plasma, you have mycoplasma, and it's an STD. That is not necessarily true. When it comes to cervical infections, your cervix sits at the top of your vagina and it's like a sponge. And so semen, as we talked about before, is not just sperm, it's urine, it's blood, it's pus. Anything that is not, that is not sperm, your cervix is not going to allow through and it catches. And that sponge starts to get more full and full and full with every episode of unprotected sex that you have. And with that being said, once the sponge gets so full, you develop an infection called either urea plasma or mycoplasma. Very easy to treat, two pills one time, but don't necessarily believe that your partner is doing anything wrong. That is not the case. The more you have unprotected sex, the more at risk you are for developing a cervical infection, which is very easily treatable. Yes, it carries an odor with it. It's not a fishy odor, but it is an odor, which is why my mission in life is don't self-diagnose. Don't think because you have an odor that you have BV. There are other infections to life than BV. Hope this helps.